Hello my friends, welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are update 100. 100. I'm trying to find some contract for the war. So first of all, we are going to buy some food. Some cheap food if possible. Well, yes, yeah, I'm just gonna buy one of them. Enough to get her to the next town. Bruninta. Go back and find some contract and then we will head up and raid them. Our company is doing very well. We we got uh, we got a few um we got at least one more potential recruit. This archer is gonna reach ninety five 95 at level 11 Very high starting melee skill Other stats seems okay Range range defense is like not the not the best but also not the worst I don't need that much range defense on my guys I, this He's level 12 and I, I and I'm giving him only 16 I like that he has high um, range Well Hunters, they they can get 59 at level 1, I think. So with 2 star, they're gonna reach um, 99. And with 3 star, they're gonna reach 105 or something. But um, 95 is more than enough for me. And 57 is very good. I want to make him a high bridge archer as, um, as well as my these two other. Because um, it, have, it has... The build has been working out very well for me. Looks like we have some brigands to um, level my guy up. <laughs> Make sure I give him enough helmet so he doesn't die from crossbow. Some thugs. Some thug and one leader. I I need to level him up more and see um, how much actual... Actual... Um, melee defense he has in order to give him a proper build some mask men looks like these guys are gonna be easier to catch also some undead um, footprint over here well come back um yeah wait I need to get, get rid of these guys getting rid of the um, I don't think we need the bannerman in this fight. Sometimes I, sometimes I overvalue the bannerman too much. We actually don't need to bring them in like most fights, but it's nice to, to have him. Get in there, boys! He's that good. Thank the Lord, man. Sometimes they just refuse to die. Hmm. So we have four archers, and they are refusing to to come forward already. But usually when I do this, they they try to go and like get to my get to my archer. Well, nice helmet on I saw. Pretty happy with that helmet. Oh yes, I'm ready. Wow, it's beautiful.
I still have um very low armor, so the archer uh, archers are actually still a big problem for me. And my archer, well, they are. I mean, once I get my guys coat of plates and full helm, and my archer can kill the archers fast, then my archer can kill enemy archers fast. It's, it will be. It will be much um more pleasant for me. Also, I just noticed that my um, front line is full of great sword now. Ah, I didn't see this guy. Damn. What? That's need more warm up. I mean, I guess need more blood um, to the brain. Kill him, please. Also, we have two big crossbow here. I find the best way to level up um, low level recruit is to just slap the heavy armor on them, give them a build hook so they um, don't die just from random arrows and then you try to position to position them really well so well I would like to kill him but um how about this guy? Wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot that you are not actually a crossbowman. We are reaching the level of autopilot right now. Don't need to think much anymore, just mash them. But um, I'm trying to autopilot um, to my, to the best of my ability. Wild guess are you from Philippines or maybe Singapore? Very close my friend. I am also from Southeast Asia. I am from Vietnam actually. Where are you from? Read up one guy. Looks like four, three, two. Sweden, Shve Sweden. Well, really, so yeah. Maybe we are just not very, very um common on the internet. Maybe I don't know. I am actually very very anti-social so I, I, I mostly don't go out with like fe my fellow Vietnamese I 
I lived in Germany for a while and I, I, I adopted a lot of the culture there. So, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm Sweden. Ve very nice. I actually very, I actually um like Sweden a lot. I watch a lot of Sweden stream. Uh, or Bulldogs. Do you know uh, Admiral Bulldog Dota Two? I used to root for the, uh, the Alliance team. I played Dota Two back back then. I would love to visit Sweden, but I don't think I have the chance anymore. I could have visited a lot of countries when I was living in Germany. Looks like... Wow, this is like Bregen town right there. What is going on? There must be a camp somewhere near. Looks like they smashed the undead. We are straying a little bit um, far away from our our um, plan right there, right here. We are trying to go back here, find some quest to find the war. Instead, we are fighting brigands again. Mm, this his death may cause the company to be a little bit upset. <laughs> oh no, this guy is not happy at all. Maybe we we don't sacrifice him today. <laughs> I don't want someone to like just. Um, straight up leave the company because I take bad care of them. Um, let's try and level up this guy. He has, uh, he has quite a bit of potential. Swedish streams. What's what? What is um? What's with the Swedish streams? You don't like it or what? They are racist. Wow, what? I don't know if I'm a racist or not. I like racist jokes. PewDiePie. Wow, oh, yeah. PewDiePie. I don't watch PewDiePie a lot. Well. But, um. I do admire him. Well, somehow he. Somehow he, 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 he made, like. Living on the internet a thing.
up. I don't know if you follow, um, if you play Dota 2 or not. But, um, watch. I was, it's, it's like, how many years ago? It's TI3. International 3. Then it's, it's, it's uh, like, five years ago? Five, six years ago, kind of. Um, I stayed up all night to, like, 6 a.m. in the morning to just watch the damn thing. And I love Navi because um, they just so much fun. But TI3, I I even bet for the Navi. I bet bet all my Delta 2 items on Navi, dude. And they lost. It's, the final game was like a, it's just epic, and I just couldn't feel happier for for the Alliance, even though I, I lost all the items. I, yeah, and um, I think Delta 2 just. Dota 2 just um, Dota 2 and the international just just kick up, kick start the the esports scene so 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 hard, dude. And um, esports and and streaming now is like so different, like five or maybe seven years ago. Really, I, well, I don't follow anything. I I mean, um, I don't even read anything on in Vietnam. I I don't visit Vietnamese website I, I, at all. I just spend my day on YouTube and um and stuff. So I don't know what, but um, well, good to know that uh, we are doing some, we are getting something done, um. In the esports scene, nice. <laughs> well, as far as I know, the Koreans sh sh like they they dominate all the the the, the leak stuff. Am I wrong? What is this? Okay, so um, they just fight each other for fun, for fun. But um, we are a little bit unhappy. Yeah, no, yeah, they are just a little bit unhappy right now, so they couldn't have any fun. I would like some more melee defense on him. 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 more levels. He might not be able to reach the amount that I that I need. If I can pick a perk here, what, what would I pick? So that I can go to like Butterforce right now. Well, the Korean and the Chinese dominated. Ah. Well, I think MOBA is MOBA was like the, the the game to go to like a few years ago, but now so many things has has changed. Like the Fortnite um, battle royale thing just dominating the scene right now. And well, I. I'm not sure. Um, to me, the like, to me, um, Dota 2 and, and Lich, they they are like, they should be friends now with, with with each other because they they are kind of the same. I, I don't know if it's still real that people hate each hate each other or it's just a meme now. But people should, MOBA people should really band together because um, the genre is is losing its player. People are playing Dota, like auto chess on, on Dota 2 right now. <laughs> well, the international, I, I will. Yeah, the same but different, but still same. Yeah. Some conflict is hard to resolve, you know. And down. Hmm. I don't want to waste time doing the, these kind of quests. 
but um this quest is worth doing I think it's easy and pay a lot of money I'm trying to read these dialogues and to see if I can figure out what I'm I'm fighting sometimes the dialogue in this game is just just pure treasure the writing is absolutely amazing Twenty six web next. It's mostly a meme. Well, this is nice to know. Even though I, yeah, I am trying to level someone up. This guy, I see some potential in him. Well, he will, he will not be the best, but he will be solid because of his, like stars this fight I let's try and kill him off we may fight better recruits down here And by the way, the great sword just completely decimate these. They just decimate these, these spiders. There are so many of them. I'm pretty sure um, it wasn't 31 when I. I'm pretty sure it was just 20 something, but um. They just keep spawning everywhere. Well, having high melee skill archer will allow you to clear the net much more e easily. I should not have done that now. Now, Otma has nothing to do. The spiders are actually quite useful in um, for crafting. You can craft reinforced net, which um, which I have seen uh, awkward a lot. Just rip it apart in one turn, and sometimes a hedge knight can't even rip a fishing net in like three turns. But um, it depends like a lot on luck. But um, extra fifteen percent to break the net is still fifteen percent. And the poison though, I, I don't know, um, I have tried the poison, but um, I just... I tried the poison, but they seems to... Well, they seems nice, they, they are like 10 damage per turn, but what? Come on. But um... They seems nice in in. They seems nice in in uh, theory, but in reality, it um. It is hard to 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 actually use them. F 
first of all, it's it's only the poison's only there for like three or four shots or three or four attack, and um, you actually have to spend AP to to apply it. So. I think it's useful on two occasions. First of all, um, when you try to kill something with a bunch of HP, and the poison can make the process go faster. Example: Unholt and Linworms. But they both have um, resilient perk, which reduce the duration of the poison. You can apply the poison uh, early on in the fight, so you don't really waste any kind of. Um, AP. You don't have to like not shooting an, an arrow in order to apply the poison. That's nice there. And the, the poison are very common, very accessible because spiders are plenty. Well, um, I think they they can help you to fight lean worms earlier if they're having trouble and. And you should have trouble with Lindworm early game. Well, it's day 100 right now, and I think we can take on Lindworm now, but just um, not very comfortably. I have some shield guy um, that, that can tank the Lindworm. Our back line is full of build hooks. Front line is very good. I should give him front line build hooks too and let my back line just shoot at the Lindworms. Uh, misclicked. He's dead, nice. And um, second occasion when the poison is useful is where you want to speed up the process of killing an enemy that is very weak, such as goblins. Sometimes you can't one shot goblin, but they remain at a very low HP. They only have 40 HP, I think, so one shot on them and the poison tick will kill them next turn, which is kind of nice. <laughs> but the problem is that um, it's only for a few shots and it's actually pretty hard to, to shoot at goblins. They have anticipation I think and maybe even dodge I don't I'm not sure if they have dodge but anticipation for sure but I'm um, I'm looking for for any edge I can find on goblins to help me kill them easier be it um be it Night owl, night owl potion, or even yeah, night owl potion, goblin poison. The problem is that I I need arrows in goblin fight. I should be I I I would like to carry two quivers and um, with the poison I will not be able to use the bill hook. Do I actually need bill hook in goblin's fight though? I don't think so. So maybe um. I should try that. I'm trying to find um to find the use for everything in the game. Trying to find the small little edge that I can get to help me fight hard battles easier. Also, I just realized yesterday, um, Lunch B actually told me how he built his archer to fight goblins, and he basically gave them a ton of range defense and just stand there and shoot the goblin down. I'm very happy with my archer right now, but they are. I'm sacrificing the range defense and put the points into melee attack. 
so that I can have like nice backline the pole arms user. Well, the problem is that it kind of weakens me against Goblin. I just realized that. So I am actually going to have a harder time against Goblin now. And I. But um, even so, I think it's. I'm liking this build so much. So, unless this build is com completely and utterly trash against Goblin, I think I I will be happily, I will happily um sacrifice those range defense for the melee attack. Then maybe I will. So in order to make up for that, make up for the low melee defense, I mean low range defense, I should find some strategy to better help me deal with the goblins. Yeah, I'm... Goblins... 16 range defense on some of my guy, but it's... Last time I fought them with 25 range defense, 80 HP And it was still pretty hard Now I'm fighting them with 70 70 HP and um, 16 range defense, range defense on rod Well, it's gonna be tough And it will... It's not only in the Goblin City but also In every single Goblin fight I'm gonna take a one or two more shots from them, more than usual, be just because of the low defense. And he also, he also used um, dodge. That's yeah, dodge and anticipation with like 25 to 30 range defense. That that uh, that is his way of uh, dealing with Scarplin. The spider just take forever to hmm. I can prepare the night owl's potion and um and the goblin poison for the goblin city but I can't do it every single goblin fight. Alright, we got rid of um of those, I don't know, hitchhiker, hitchhiker in the company. Okay, got to get rid of them. They should have cheap amber. That's pretty cheap. We need the food. We are just like chewing through the food right now. We need a bunch of food. They also have missing villager. Well, if I can get rid of the terrified villager, I can also buy the cheap ambers here. Sell them for a lot of money. Where is the footprint? More web next. Alright, I'm ready. We might not have enough inventory space. So repair the loot before I sell them. I like to level him up. Oh, I already I already gave him um, hammer mastery, so he's gonna reach a l he he's going to have a lot of melee defense. But I would like uh, more melee attack, so I can give him a big hammer.
you was playing around yesterday, have have I ever tried nimble HP build frontliner with steel brow no no helmet? No helmet? And very good body armor for only 15. No, I haven't tried that. I did use steel brow on one of my guys though. I did use steel brow on the fame 200 mage guy that I lost in the black monolith. Yeah, I I think steel brow is kind of um important for nimble because one headshot on them with the helmet on is they are done. So hmm steel brow yeah okay so i mean this is the problem this is the big problem with the nimble build their armor has no value at all um their armor has their armor has no value because they they, they don't have battle forge though so 95 armor is gonna go down in two hit 15 fatigue armor um let's is like 150 or something let's say it's 150 then it's also gonna go down in like three hits and after the armor is gone they are all the same just sack of meat yeah you you should be able to notice that um once their armor is gone they are like they, they just take damage like no tomorrow and their armor is shredded very quickly so 200 200 um, frontliner I think um, I think nimble 200 is not viable um, because it, it's not only that you get smashed by by um, the frontline enemy enemy um, frontliner you also get pick on by enemy archers a lot they focus your your nimble guys with no shield down very quick they love to do that um so i think if you want a nimble guy you you have to have shield yeah you have very high body armor but yeah i mean um even 100 uh, 100 70 body armors means nothing for a for a nimble guy because with our battle forge armor goes away so fast so maybe a fame uh, maybe a fame armor maybe a fame armor for like 200 durability for 15 fatigue also bone spread bone um, bones plating are, ve are very good on nimble guys last time i built my uh, 200 two hand nimble two handers with a uh, bone plating it just tank one more hit which is very nice because um i usually go with this armor and the five this armor this armor is like the best for the Minus 10, but well, it still go away in two hit. This armor go away in two hit. My 15 fatigue armor will go away in like three hits. So, what's the difference in a long fight? And it's very, very um, it's too in inefficient. Your armor worth like so much less. I mean, I saw well, the battle forge guy can take maybe. 200 damage and he will only need to use like because he, he has battle forge he will not lose that much tool to repair them but every fight i'll have to repair with um like all of the nimble guys armor because they just go away so quickly But I like that idea. I, I like that uh, you use uh, zero. There are some helmet with zero uh, um, fatigue penalty. Like maybe um, maybe the necromancer helmet. Necromancer helmet is like 40 durability and no fatigue. Also, you find some like fame 15 fatigue armor. Nice. 
um, and then with um, steel brow. I like the idea a lot, and you find some absolutely godly um, brother with a bunch of HP and with no chance to go battle forge. So you have to go with some hedge knight, I think, because even this noble guy, the the noble guy has really low HP and fatigue. The hedge knight has the hedge knight. They have bonus in HP and fatigue, so they can make any build you want. Um, I ra I like that idea a lot because, um, um, because I usually notice that my my nimble frontline guys they usually end the fight with no body armor in like still a bunch of head armor left I think that might be the way to go with nimble builds It's so weird to see like nimble on paper they are so good like, um, Our archer is doing super well with nimble But once you give someone in the front line nimble they they just crumble I, I don't understand how how like why it's so polarizing I thought I thought that at least they could hold um, hold the line for for like a little bit, but no, they can't do anything. They just get completely smashed because um, like before the line crash, they already taken they've already taken a bunch of damage from uh, enemy archers. Yeah, last time I tried steel brow, I tried one guy with steel brow, and um, it wasn't very in impressive because it doesn't change the fact that his body still take damage like crazy. But wow, well, um, fifteen, uh, fifteen durability. I mean, fifteen armor fatigue, fifteen fatigue armor. It sounds. It, it, it makes much more sense to me yeah because they only enemy only have 25% to headshot and and usually um usually the armor actually ha the five fatigue armor usually have um, more durability than the 10 fatigue the five fatigue helmets they, they have more durability than the 10 fatigue armor so it's, it's, it's like a little bit backward. That maybe that's why my nimble build is not working. Hmm. Yeah, I can show you. I my bannerman is rocking the standard. Um, the standard armor for nimble um, five five uh, five helmet and ten fatigue armor yes they are they are like yeah 40 the um, some some straw hat and some necromancer top hat the witch hunter top hat this armor it has 95 durability but the five um, fatigue uh, helmet um, they it has 
110 or 115 I think And also also the Kraken plating the Kraken Kraken um, body plating that reduce damage to the body by 10% is I think perfect for nimble nimble builds. It on, it only reduce uh, melee damage to the body though. I seriously think you should uh, use quick hand with shields on um, nimble guys, kinda. As of right now, um, with without your idea, I I I don't see a way for nimble uh, min for nimble frontliner with without shields. You just get picked off by archers so easily. Yeah, this hammer can't even kill this web neck even in two hits. That's how bad hammer is versus HP. Also, maybe I should also use um, HP bar for this fight because I have trouble seeing the living web next versus the dead one There are a lot of fun builds out there, uh, and um, people can play um, whichever way they want. I'm just f trying to figure out um, what is the best, uh, and what is the what is the best for me. So yeah, my build just condensed uh, into like. Frontline two handers, uh, battle force two hander, and I, I I want also one or two, at least one battle force nimble. Uh, I mean battle force duelist. Also um, hybrid archers, one bannerman, some. I mean this guy right there is gonna be battle force two hander uh, eventually. And um, Nimble already has a space, uh, has a place in the game. Archers are like insanely good with Nimble. More disappearing villagers. I can't do this quest even though I want the cheap tools 
Okay, let's go and find some actual contract and try to sell all the loot. Last time I remember Dornan was like ambush. So they should have they should buy my Yesterday you got a bower with three star in melee defense, two star in HP and one star in range defense. No, a frontline tank does not need range defense at all. With a shield archers will never try to hit him. And you can use yeah, you can use Kai Shield and your problem is gone. They might hit him once or twice, but it's fine. Um you should pump up um yeah, HP defense HP and HP and melee defense, they synergize well with each other. You can um, make a um, nimble, nimble showman. Nimble showman is okay. Very easy to build. Just HP. You just need HP. That's it. If you want to attack enemy, uh, pump up melee skill and give him a mace. He already he already has a shield, so um. wow. Yeah. Um, you should really you you should try to to. To uh, to get your company to um, like, uh, um, they maybe you should try and play some late game, uh, company because, um, the the mid game and the late game and the super late game they are like different games. Early game is very different than than uh, mid game and late game and super late game. It's like a whole different experience. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. 105 helmet and 95 armor. And they rarely get hit in the head. So why put this much armor on the helmet when you can reinforce the armor, bo the body armor? Yeah. Should I try that right now? I, I think I should. If I find some... Um, uh, if I find some dualist helmet, I think they cost 3 fatigue and still a respectable amount of of a defense and give him uh, like 12 armor hello team hi hello team welcome so team what do you think about this recruit right there he's gonna reach 95 uh, range skill do you i yeah i i found him um i no it's it's true i calculated it um, he's gonna he he's going to reach um 95 four per turn at uh, four per level I found him uh, at the end of the stream last yesterday expert expert low and iron man um I I think you don't have to play iron man iron man just um you you Iron Man just discourage you to learn the game at every angle. With our Iron Man, you, you can um, take a lot of hard fights, and if you die, then just reload it and try again. Maybe just don't fight them anymore. Once you know um, which enemy you can take on at which at how many days, then you can play at Iron Man. Then he's so far my best archer. Um, 95 at level at level 11 my two archers right there is 90 at level 11 oh yes yes I also have that problem I don't know if that's my just my computer just saving the game so slowly or or well I am giving you a recover or maybe I don't think you need recover. Let's go with quick hands first. You try fighting three shots without appropriate gear. Well, yeah, it's the shots are very powerful. I didn't think that I could um, beat them once uh, when I first saw them, but then, um, well, Battle Force and Nimble deal with them pretty well. 
Nimbo is a little bit better, but you just smash the shields and you have your backline with pearl axe with long axe and you just smash them down. Problem is that um, if you have like three of them, you if you fight three of them at once, the AOE is just just destroy your 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 formation. One hexen, one hexen with a strat. It's level five. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't like hexen quest because I don't know what's in there, and they just attack me straight away and I cannot retreat. I would like to find hexen in the wild a little bit more. They usually they usually run around. Maybe five hexen alone is easy because I only put maybe one or two guy in the fight. I put I put this guy in the fight and hexen can't do anything to him. I just go over there and kill the five hexen alone. And um. If they have some other beasts, I can choose to fight them or not. Let's see if I can find any good recruit here. I want this guy. He's expensive though. But I can, if I level him up, with, along with the Grave Robber, I can get some uh, fame thing. That's worth 10 crown per day for a, for a historian. I don't think they are normally this expensive. Oh no! You eat too much. No. I, I, well, let's. Uh, maybe if I find another escort caravan to do the faster, I am doing that. Well, that's that means. Okay, I'm selling all the loot here. Perfect. Yeah, ten crown in three food per day. Damn you. Hmm. Can I... I just want to level up um, these two guys so they are like the worst but they can give me something fame. I'm doing this quest, for, that's for sure. And I'm selling all the loot. Uh, by the way team, would you like to be the hunter? I think I finally f got that really really good hunter i mean good recruit for you nice i found him at the very end of the stream last time and i was so happy selling all the loot i can't craft anything so Let's just sell these for now. Um, and the strats, they, they don't give you any good crafting materials. Their shield is good. Um, before you can find any fame shield, then you can use them. They are even better than Fame Shields. They are the the, the strat the, they they don't give you anything to craft. Only the shield, I think, and some like Kraken potion. Crumble Watchtower. Look at this, there's so just so many caravan quests to the witch town. I think this map is gonna be super nice to find fame things. Oh, I have a lot of um, item in the backpack that I can sell too. Um, if I can find some uh, nim duelist helmet, I can use it with this helmet for my nimble guy. Oh, I hope that I can find something fame there. Really hoping. 
chosen few. This, like, I, mm, we need to find a, an enemy merc comp so that we can kill them. Oh, this guy is so incredibly cheap for his cell sword. I don't think I, I need to check him out, just buy him because he's so cheap like this. Well, mm, got my money, what the f Oh, look at this, Stern Helm Coif. I think this is a very light helmet. He was heading east of here. Okay. Um, east of here is... It's over there. Could be this camp. Yep. It's very easy to find um to fight to, to, to find that camp um if I want to. Another fame I think it's the wolf um wolf armor. Wolf health wolf head armor. They they have they, they have so much durability. So there's so many mercenary company here. Damn it. Why can't I find any of them? up there with like so I can get my hand on the sweet war bow ah. okay as you wish dude you are attacking the caravan that I'm delivering into the town to buy fame item you have made like the worst mistake I would like this helmet Yeah, attacking me at night when your archer can't see, can't see anything. No, 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 no. Why did I do that? I have um the cheat helmet. Helmet of cheating on. I don't have quick hand with this guy. I do not want them them to kill any of my caravan hands. That might um affect the result of the quest. They might not get well supplied. The wolf helmet, you mean? It is I well it has minimum uh, fatigue uh, of 6 so and it has a lot of durability for for its um, fatigue so but um putting it on a putting it on a, a nimble guy is like it's going to limit his uh, the amount of armor he can wear I mean, it is good, but it's not perfect. That's what I mean. The perfect head armor for me should cost um, at most five, and the minimum for that armor is six. Uh, you you can make sh you can be sure that once you put that armor on, nothing can kill your archer um, anymore because um, well, no no crossbow can kill your archer anymore. It should has like, it should have um, mm, one fifty or or more fatigue for like six to nine. I mean, one fifty or more durability for six to nine fatigue. The ratio is insane. And also, I mean, you don't have to. To all, always um, to have only 15 fatigue on your guys. Um, with like 16 fatigue, it's different every run. What do you mean? Um, the um, the stat on the fame item is kind of random.
yeah yeah um fame items they they have like random number generator on everything okay, one on like on um durability on damage and um on all the stats they just roll it randomly so you may end up with a super good fame weapon with increased stat in everything or you could end up with like a a weapon with the same amount of like stat also with uh once also with armor it's even worse with armor mm. you could end up with fame armor worse than normal armor i swear i have seen it happen with fame um weapon is usually a little bit better at least uh, more chance to hit head or more durability but fame armor you absolutely can end up with worse than normal armor um, these like black I mean these uh, white and blue armor and the yellow armor is notorious for that even worse than medium armor they added the noble armor and the cell sword armor which is like medium version and very and the start are very I mean um there are fame armor out there that are worse than armor that you can buy just simply more fatigue for less durability because they roll on randomly Um, so the the heavy armor, the brown, the, the green and yellow armor, a very heavy one is usually good because um, it has a lot of durability. Not, no normal armor can reach that amount of durability. So that's fine because you look for higher durability for Butterforge. But um, this, the, the, the golden armor and the golden armor and and the, this kind this one they are like medium fame armor and before they are like when the game just came out um they are no good medium armor um with with beast and exploration um holy hell look at this it's to hit um with the wooden hammer and my archer is Smash. When the beast and exploration came out, they add they added very good um they added very good medium armor. So if you roll really badly with these fame medium armor, you will get worse um, armor than you can than than the cell sword and noble armor. Is the helmet you're actually wearing fame? I mean, I understand you start everything with it. Random start is run. No. This this um helmet is the same every run. If you don't, is a um the the helmet is um no it's not ideal. It's not like well, you you have to like purchase some some something to support the death, and they give you this. Well, without this armor, it's very very hard for you to fight Mastermind. You can get one good uh, archer, and you can just attack Massman at night, and and your archer will like shoot down Massman easily. But without it, um, you might have to fight Massman um, 
during during the day so that, you, so that your archer can shoot people or you have to attack at night and accept that your archer won't won't be good this this helmet is is a little bit like cheating And if you fight maskmen during the day early game before you get like three good archers level 5 level 6 at least they will be just um, they will be such a pain man they will just um, stand their ground and shoot you down because they ha because they have the range superiority so you have to charge them, you have to come for them. And you will take a lot of damage um, in the process. So, um, during day 15 or so, uh, Maskmen mask start spawning and I never fight them during the day, I only fight them during the night so that my archer have a chance to, have a chance to, like, yeah, my archer can shoot them down and they can't, so, yes, exactly, bow is, is not making the bow, man. Okay, I hire a bunch of meat for the a thresher, right? I want to give them um, fatigue, or or I can give them uh, defense and attack. This is uh, who is this guy? Tiger the Hessian eye. Oh. Brave Robber gain 2 melee skill. Preacher, the monk, gain 2 melee skill. Mace Tang, wow, that is. Mace Tang is the hunter, right? Hunter gain 2 melee skill. That's good. He, his melee skill is a little bit low. Kurt, I don't know who Kurt is. Looks like um, looks like the historian. Hilmar gain 2 1 melee defense. I'm still looking for some Wobo and the Master Wobo. Ha <laughs> okay, Brigand's coming for me. One liter, some maskmen. Oh, I might, I might have to just give him another armor, I guess. Hero ma, oh, he is the cell sword. Well, I would like to get rid of him first. They are trying to shoot at um, Rod because he because he has very low range defense. Yeah, exactly. Without this helmet, there is no way to fight brigands, uh, maskmen. Um, well, you you only have one option is um full melee company attack maskmen at night that's it and with this you can you have range support for your company at night during the day it's still impossible to fight maskmen at day 15 still i believe because maskmen with like the maskmen with the level 2 crossbow is one injury for for every hit that's it one injury every hit and during the day they have insane amount of accuracy they will not miss so with this helmet you will have a very easy time to kill maskmen at night 
without it, um, it will be harder to kill them at night because you don't have archer. Your archers can't shoot anything at night. Need to bike. Yeah, you should always fight them at night until you get like three good archers that can shoot them down and your front line full of kite shield. I did that, yeah. I, I follow that um I follow that rule um very strictly in this run. That that's why we ha we had such a such a smooth early game. Also I I found the kite shield very early on. Somehow the brigand just like stuck up with kite shield. At a 20 or something, and I got my front line full of Kai shield and my archers. I think I found I found Sorips and I found the bow is kind of kind of early. At least I found Sorip early and I and I, I had two good archers. So my archer can kill the can 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 kill the maskman and my front line is somewhat. Um, Look at this! It's like battle forge with, with um, a lot of armor, and imagine at day fifteen you wear you are wearing best brigand armor. That is that injury is gonna wreck you. That injury is going to like limit your ability to do anything in the next few days. Maskmen can kill you so easily early on and even if they don't kill you, you they will give you injuries. And um I think uh, I took at least like, three wounds um per Maskmen fight this run. This run I took some wounds I think and it's all like, most of the Maskmen one fight with Maskmen I believe I took three injuries. It's that crazy. It's unavoidable. And except that you will take uh, damage when you go and fight a Maskman. So make sure it's it's worth taking the damage. And um, yeah, my company is having problem with Maskman and crossbow right now. But once we get to Full helm and um, coat of plates. The problem should go away. So um, this is a very greedy build. Even at level 11, uh, we are still like, not at full power. We need the gear. Very greedy build. Look at this guy. Uh, with the full helm, is much uh, better. This guy has 200 and. 215 armor, head armor I think, and this guy had 300, that's the difference. Also, yeah, also he's a, like the low HP guy, so injuries happen to him are much more common. I think um, whenever you take damage, that um is like equal or more than 30% of your of your total HP then um, that is a that is an an injury so if you have a lot of HP then you should then injury should happen to you much um, should happen to you much much less that's why um that's why nimble they don't take injury that much 
they can get reduced to 1 HP in the fight and they will not have injuries on them because the, um, the damage dealt to them is very low. They take 10 damage every turn and 10 damage cannot... Uh, 10 damage... Um, and they should have like more than 100 so 10 damage is nothing. They can get reduced to like 1 HP. They may even die and take permanent injury, but they will not have a single injury on them. This over. Well, also um, at night, Masmen can't still shoot you down. Well, they will still hit you because it's the nature of the game. Attack will hit you at some point. This helmet is 230. Wow. I didn't I didn't notice that. I should have stopped him down. Well, I would like the helmet but not enough to rebuy the game and the expansion. Yeah, it's a tier 3 axe. Um you don't have to buy the whole thing again on Steam. If you already have the game, you you can you can buy the the only DLC you need. Steam allows you to do that. If you already have the base game, you don't you don't have to buy it again. Also, nice helmet. Yeah, this is like pretty good helmet for me. Okay, Cactus is finally getting some good rolls. Um, do I want him with 70 HP? Yeah, so... Um, cons mm. He has Iron Lung, but um, his fatigue is a little bit low. I am trying to see if a low HP can... Um, 70 can be tolerated on uh, Battleforge Frontliner. Let's see. Hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, I believe. I haven't looked at those uh, soundtrack and art book just yet. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I I think um not having it will allow you to become like <laughs> a better player at least. It, is 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 your preference? Also, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I I don't have the Kraken banner. Uh, I want to support the dev, but um, um, I just I I, I, I don't want to put like ten euros in there. Maybe even twenty. I don't know if how much the Kraken banner is. I mean, I'm supporting the dev right now. I bought the game and I'm playing it, but I I just don't 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 have that um. That amount of money that I can support them, like uh, uh, that, uh, that much. I mean, that's one of what I'm trying to say. I like this a lot. Okay, let's take a look at um, the fame things. Hello, a fame spear. Huh? It's the same damage, more damage that ignore armor. It's completely trash. It's super light though. It's like it's so very light. Minus five. Okay. Take a look at the armor. No fame armor. So this this noble mill is the fifteen uh, standard fifteen fatigue. If you find something fame, it could very well reach like two hundred, I think. Well. That would make your um, um, your front your nimble guy very tanky, but remember that armor gets shredded very easily on nimble guy, so you will have to re repair a 200 armor every time, every battle. Fame bow, give it to me. Ah. 
Alright, we got the quest, we got what we wanted. Another archer. Oh, I don't have the slot right now, I don't have the tools. One, two, three. Those are kind of cheap. Um, let's buy them. Yeah, if you get something... If you get some town, um... The wall supply, you should buy loot because it reduces the price. I will keep this um, head armor. Okay, let's see. Do I need this hammer? I don't. I don't really. Don't need this shield. Don't need this. Not this. Okay, let's go fight that big battle. Nice. Also, um, which house is house hiding? It's the dragon house. Okay. Um, I I don't bargain right now, but um, I used to bargain all the time. So, um, it's no harm of asking for uh, the, the race one, um, just a little bit. Yeah, um, so you can see every time you bargain the price, um, I, I, don't, I don't think you can see the difference in, in here. They, while well, we are allied with Eisenstein. But um, every time you bar bargain, uh, the price go, go up one or two crowns per item. It's just a very small thing. And you can gain like maybe 150 crowns more for the contract. And I, I don't know if uh, it increased the difficulty of the quest or not. But the difficulty of the quest kind of uh, scale with the money. But I don't know if it's, uh, just bargaining make it, uh, make it uh, harder. Yeah, half a letter. I, I like that uh, way of saying. So, who is going to die next? Looks like it's gonna be Hilmar. And... who else? Oh, I want Carl in this battle. We need him. We need his uh, tankiness. I think he's gonna replace her... Vic Heart. Getting team in this battle is kind of dangerous. Let's see. Maybe... yeah. What do you need us to do? Okay, um, read some caravanism. What? I don't mean to waste your talents, but I need you to go and read and, and requisition food supplies for the for the army. Oh, okay. Re is requisition a verb? Really? Are we really? Okay, we need to go and uh, get some get some rice. I think. Where? All the way here. I want to visit Heldenburg. I need the tools there. But we can do this. This this is actually kind of dangerous. Sometimes they have uh, mercenaries to ambush you. Go and get things. Requisition. What you found was this. Basically contract increased 4 to 12% in payout. But you decrease sales to a town. Yeah. So, yeah, ex exactly. You you gain a one-time money, but you you lose you lose the relation like um for the for all the times to come. That's why I don't do it anymore. But um, if you really really want, you can some town just like you don't ever want to go to, and you can do some quest there. Maybe you. Some town that you don't want to buy anything from you, just you can just 
ask for uh, for a few like change. They can have a mercenary ambush you in this quest, surround you on all sides, and it's very dangerous. So we have to be careful about this. Bring only best. I don't think um team is safe here. Let's bring Toss in. Yeah, you can ask like Really? You they they say no and you ask again. Yeah, 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 they can do that. You can play hard to get. So but uh, it's very trick. It's it's not worth doing that. Uh, I I believe you can all is you can you should always ask for the race ones if you want. You can make uh, actually kind of meaningful money early game. Okay, looks like they are cooperating. Yes. Oh no, this is the problem. I'm a step aside and. Certainly arrow some um, against the wagon Looks like we are fighting some mercenaries Lots of mercenaries and a hedge knight Ah <sighs> boy So they have peasants We can kill the peasant and um to attack their morale but This is what um This is tricky this is gonna be tricky Let's see that's one warbow Okay, Rod is uh, fully healed. Good. The Hedge Knight has a coat of plate. Ha <laughs> I, 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 I dislike this a lot. Well, you got you get put into a position that, and also I don't I don't understand um, how they position your company. It's just random or something. I see a uh, hedge knight, I see warbow, where is the warbow? This is the warbow. One crossbow, one crappy bow. Let's see. A lot of present that which gonna give me a lot of easy kills and killing frenzy. Um, okay, this guy is kind of dangerous too. He has crappy sword though. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 10 mercenaries 1 hedge knight um, A bunch of thugs Like 14 thugs or something Hmm Alright So We need to set up our formation I like that My 4 swordmen is like In the 4 corners Looks like this is gonna be the hardest uh, battle And I want that warbo so much also the hedge knight with the with the um, this um, is not that um, scary. It is, but it's not that scary. This fight is gonna be hard. We need to be very careful. Mercenary are, are no joke in large number. Those things are like they have nets and throwing stuff, huh? So. I don't think I need to kill all the pheasants because they're gonna give me some nice uh, berserk and killing frenzy procs. Where should I position my company? We are completely exposed. The archer can take whatever high ground they want, and they have nimble, so I can't shoot them down fast enough. Okay, let's shift our swordman there. I'm very afraid for a rod because the low range defense is coming into play. I can see it here. Maybe I should um, give him like 20 range defense in the veteran level. Okay, I like this. We are having, we are getting the mercenary that we want. Let's. Uh, 
I kind of want to rotate um, Cactus in here so he can attack this guy. Nice. Um, I can pull out the bill hook and smash. It. Let's do that. They have a lot of uh, defense too. They are like cell swords. Exactly, they are cell sort level of uh, enemy. Kit Pona is um. He's very vulnerable to to enemy archer. And I'm afraid of this guy. He he's. He's the one with the crossbow. Where can I tuck him? Let's tuck him in here, maybe. Another crossbow. We can wait. Cactus. Let's get in there and smash him. Oh, we missed. Hmm. Position behind this, maybe? Well. It's not gonna prevent this crossbowman to go here and shoot at me. And there's no archer here. If the if the enemy dangerous archer is here, then I would like to hide someone behind these the two bush. But we are very exposed on like all these sides. So I saw is my best guy. I need him where it's the hardest. Maybe this, yeah. So I want Otma to just get in there and smash them. <laughs> well, um, he's gonna get netted and smashed with the hammer. <clears throat> Unless I put Carl in here to tank him. Ah, uh, you thought. Well, you are the Hedge Knight, so um, you are definitely very good, but melee skill is a little bit low. Sorry, man. It's uh, just a... F yeah, the truth hurts, man. The truth hurts. I saw it's the best. Well, not the best um, at, in melee defense. You definitely has, you have a bunch more melee defense than him, but... Um, yeah, uh, more melee skill. The truth hurts. No, sorry, boy. Sorry, man. Well, I need to protect um the line back here too. Yeah, let's try this. The hash and I, I would not like to face him. Um, to, to, to face him um, at this stage maybe I want to net him down and delay his um, advance you haven't moved yet right? yeah I saw it's very good right now, but his melee defense will not allow him to become the very late game monster because um, <clears throat> yeah, he has sub thirty, and um, that is enough for for a um, swordman. But um, yeah, I would like forty, maybe well, maybe thirty at least. Well, this is kind of the formation that... <clears throat> I mean, I got what I wanted. This is the formation that I kind of want. So, let's try to take this fight um, to the best of our ability.
what we need to do is to delay the the, the, the hedge knight if we want to get his armor and it's very valuable <coughs> mm. shooting at the archers will um is, is not um it's not good right now we need to like kill some of the front line first the front line uh, mercenary they are very vulnerable to to arrows they don't have nimble I need someone to free uh, Otma. I don't. Well, if I kill one thug, then I can get um berserk. Just play safe, I guess. Yeah, play safe. Saw rips. Saw rip can. Oh. It's gonna take me like. Three turns to try to kill this one. Well, maybe it's worth. I don't like this crossbow just like shouting at me. They have, they have nimble and fast adaptation. Yeah, it's gonna take like three hits to get through his armor. After that, it's gonna take four hits for his HP. Oh no. Mm, Alright. And there's the um, overwhelm too. This is so dangerous. We're just, just attacking a normal um, caravan. I mean, normal mercenary company. Because they have a lot more um, a lot more people, and that means a lot more overwhelm. I don't actually need to like free uh, Wara because he, he has no one to attack. Can I put the damage somewhere else? Maybe I poke at this guy. Yeah. Thank you. Well, he doesn't have uh, quick hands, I think. Yeah, no. Best for him is to use the crossbow. Wait, let's wait. Now, okay, all right. Don't you? Hmm. We need net now. Yeah, I need to net him down. If I want to save him for last, I need my my sang here to stun him, kind of. No. Why would you miss that? Oh boy. Tiger, please. Why? I think we are fine. Well. We did well. We broke two enemies. I think. Um, do we need more help down up here, or do we, or we need to take care of enemies down here? I have one swordman down here. Tiger is very good. He can take care of most of them. Oh yes, they will. Yeah, killing enemy, they 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 will run. But mm, I think they do have a decent amount of resolve. But killing the peasant is a, is a strategy. It's good. Mm, but I'm just focused on killing killing them first. And whenever I get some nice AOE, I will try and kill the peasant. Because um, like attacking resolve is chancy. They might or might not break. So. Yeah, I just want to guarantee damage on them. Do we have net on anyone? Let's see. 
Now we don't have any net. Oh boy. Now we don't have net. All right, see. So um, how are we going to deal with this hedge now? What am I going to do with you? Maybe you can smack down some like peasant. Not bad. That's also killing frenzy for you. Let's smash him. I feel like we are doing fine until the damage come in. This guy, uh, he made a very bad choice coming here. We will have to like, like eat those shots from the crossbow. Oh, maybe if I go here, it's much better. So definitely try and hide your battle force guy from enemies. Um, archers are my uh, are my weakness for sure. Wow. Okay. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if it gives you bigger paid out from contracts. Renown. Um, renown is the um, professional thing, right? It's the number. I think the dev, uh, they said that... Um, oh, wow. So killing the pheasant is actually kind of good. The devs say that uh, more renowns mean mean more money from quest. They said it at, at, at some point. Like um, people at some point they 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 um they have this strategy of uh, like um, um I, I don't remember very well. Maybe they do something that is very kind of backwards so that they stay at a low power level so the enemy is easier but um i think higher renown merely uh, merely unlock higher pay contract which in turn might be harder it isn't the same thing doesn't seem to increase the payout for doing an easy quest well i can definitely see uh those like find a location quest, they will like kind of always cost 300, right? Yeah. Mm. This guy is going to smash me. I just hope he doesn't stun I saw so I can actually shoot at this archer. Oh, wow. <laughs> he smashed Cactus in the head and Cactus uh, has severe concussion now. That's is with battle force and like two hundred forty helmet. And he's stunned too, okay. Hmm. Um but um uh, here's I I try to increase my renown very fast. Um, I managed to reach a uh, professional on day 20 this run and um, 20 is, is kind of like my uh, sweet spot uh, I that's what I, I, I try to reach if I can change the ambition well then it's very um, doable and high renown um, I think it spawns harder enemy for you which I which I want they spawn leader um, faster, they spawn hedge knife faster. Oh, okay. Tiger somehow is, is failing to kill this pheasant.
I need to do this um, attack. I need to kill that um, that um, archer. No, please, that's my wobble. So nimble archers with that helmet. Um, got his head chopped off, and I got no wobble. No wobble. What a shame. Hmm. What a shame. Well, he regained his. Uh, his morale. Tiger somehow is failing to kill this pheasant three times. Surprising. I'm so sad about this Wobble. That's my first Wobble that I... And we didn't get it to drop. Yeah, this Hedge Knight is smashing me somehow. I mean... Yeah... I should... Yeah. Maybe he get lucky last time. Cactus has a lot of defense, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he se has severe concussion now, so... He, so now he's, he's, he's in really big danger. Mm, how can I help him? Not much. Yeah, we are about to get smashed. I don't think he will die. Especially if he's not a headshot. The severe concussion is gonna assure him that he, like, he's gonna get hit for sure. You is he dead? Where is it? He stunned I saw too, wow. I I don't see his corpse. So, oh boy. So that yeah, that was because I didn't have um uh, indomitable there. Where is it? Did he just straight up kill him and, and it doesn't say anything? He stunned I saw after before that he killed one guy and it didn't say anything. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, I, w I should have that. I tried the best, I think. I didn't. Mm. And I saw his next. He's stunning us. That's. He's very lucky. I think he's lying here somewhere. Looks like he's hiding uh, under the hedge knight. He's dead. Yeah, that's that was because I don't have nets. Two hits from um, two hit from a hedge knight. He's like that's it. I think one one poke from the pike too. Ah. And um, yeah, I I should. I have um, tried to um, get lunch me to somewhere close to Hedge Knight. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. I, I needed to see that the Hedge Knight is here, so I need to move land up there instead of here. Holy hell, man. 63 He's stunned again too, that's crazy Alright He gets fracture hand and ribs Like 
Let's get him out of there. Man, 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 man. I, don't, I can't even stun. Yeah, getting surrounded like this is hard. This is all because we get surrounded. This quest is dangerous. He's gonna move very quick. Yeah, he has a. After all he has done, I, I cannot let the armor get away. And um, we we got my mage tank next to him now, so we should be able to. We should be able to um, stun him. I just don't have net. Somehow I uh, stunned again. He's he's so lucky. Every hit from him has been stunned, and and I swear this weapon don't have 100% chance to stun at all. Okay, get in there, tiger. No. No. Well, I don't think Mage Mastery say anything about um about this weapon has can stand better. We needed the net. We just did not. We just did not have the net somehow. Uh, we killed a bunch of goblins last time and somehow, um, where, are, where have the net gone? <laughs> He's gonna move before my mace guys too. What can I do about this? Maybe I put a bolt in him so he gets scared. Ah, no, man. Hmm. Please. Thank you. <sighs> I, I don't think you can stun. You are out of fatigue. You can, please stun him, 69%. Help me out. Oh no. Okay, we have to get in there, I think. Maybe scare him. Rod? I should have surrounded him before I try to stun him. Uh. Finally. Knock out and try now get a 100% stun chance. Oh wow. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think it's maze. Knock out and strike down is uh knock out is maze and strike down is uh, 200 mice this is uh, like thresh and then and, and, like uh, smash or something also I <laughs> my pro my big hammer boy is having problem with the with the mask man <laughs> oh boy Torsten oh no he's my guy very good guy oh no no 
He's a cell sword, I think. He's a fat cell sword. Somehow getting smashed by like this crappy mercenary with a crappy mace too. Um, really? I mean, come on. Am I getting overconfident again? Show sure, and please leave, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, hop is coming, please, just... <laughs> well, he's not dead, but, um, well, he's not, he's not that good anyway. More room for better recruits. We got that, maybe we can... Are we letting this guy run away? I don't think I can stop him. Well, I mean, if you can't, like, hop yourself against one mercenary with like a crappy mage then I don't think I think it's <laughs> you deserve this what okay. heavy loss okay we didn't lose cactus but um he has main foot now oh no poor him broken elbow joint fracture elbow this is well, yeah, very high price to pay for nothing. Too bad. Yep, high price to pay. I mean, I I knew that this um contract was dangerous. We could get ambushed by mercenary, and it happened to me. We need a lot of tools now, and well. We can heal in time, hopefully before the battle. So I, I mean, yeah, we could have had, we could have gotten it with, if I don't attack him. But well, he still has like at least, at least um, seventy percent, I think. And I was hoping the crossbow bolt could uh, could uh, damage him and enough to make him uh, scare a little bit. A yeah, very high price to pay, but it's not. Um <laughs> it's not detrimental. This guy is not that good anyway. But um, losing cactus. Well, <laughs> maybe I should prioritize indomitable be more. With Indomitable, we would have been fine there. Let's take a look at that um, OP 200 fail. Um, it's Pound and Thresh. Uh, the Strike Down and, and, uh, and Knockout is uh, 100 mage. He, he got very lucky. But um, it's our mistake that we didn't have net. I need the tools um, before we can go back there and do the next quest. Uh, Dunkel Varl is now belongs to. So the Y faction only has uh, only has two town left. Brigands. Well, I don't think we want to fight brigands right now. It don't, it's not worth the risk. Oh. Okay. If you insist, then okay, fine. Well. Which add-on to see streamer bros? Well, I'm I'm very new to streaming, so I don't even I, I didn't even know like those add-on could exist, but it it would be nice. So these three arch are not that dangerous. This one is very dangerous though.
Well, we have to be very careful, very very careful not to drive the company into the ground. I saw. <laughs> we have to <laughs> be careful. Running from Brigand is not the proudest moment of my run. Tiger is still uh, good though, so Tiger will have to. Tiger and Lange B will have to perform this fight. Yesterday we, we found a um, two star range skill archer. It's very nice. Also we find some uh, this guy. Oh, n <laughs> cactus! This guy um, two star in melee skill, three star in HP. I don't know what I can make him, make of him um, for now. So we ha we had some good recruits last time. Definitely definitely did. Three wounds on him. It's unlikely that he can do anything. I mean, I. A, a lot of the strength of my company come from the formation and positioning. That ambush just completely like. Throw, th throw it away. Being ambushed is um, is like the most dangerous thing. It often end runs, but um, you can almost avoid them completely by not like going some going into the into the forest at night and um, except for that quest right there. I mean, we, we was almost fine, but just a little bit unlucky that Hedge Knight didn't miss us one time. Yeah, I didn't get that war ball. It didn't drop, I, I, I saw it. Holy hell, there's a cro cockroach. Lying in my room. <laughs> and <laughs> we, the worst thing is that we lost, uh, someone got, got smashed by a crappy mercenary with a crappy mace. It's crazy. Did I underestimate the mercenary too much? At least the mercenary um, archer. Yes, I think you sh I think you should. They are not that expensive. If you find some way cheap, they may be three, three, two, three point five k. Yeah, four k is average. But I'm um, playing as a raider right now. Um, I am trying not to buy those equipments, making it a little bit harder for sure. Hi here in the bush, please. Oh. I mean, I went raiding from day 26. Day 26, I already killed two mercenary company. We just got unlucky and couldn't find any more of them. And, um... Um, I just refuse to buy the equipments because we are the raiders. Oh, 
we legit didn't find any enemy mercenary company from day 26 onward. It's day 100 now. And that was the first global we saw. The, the, the first two mercenary company I fought, they did not have global. Um... Holy hell. Hmm. The Nimbo brother, um how about his attack? I I value attack a lot, but uh, and um Well I mean you can just sit there and tank people with that much um, HP and and uh, defend. What 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 is his background? I care about the starting the starting um the starting defense too. Okay, three of my very good guys not participating in the fight. Uh. Farm hand, okay. Farm hand, they also have a lot of fatigue, right? So, well, if if it's early game, then Nimbo would be nice. Nimbo is very easy to build, but if you want to a, a very hard tank like this, like Carl, like Lange B, he he always performed. I mean, he he's very consistent because he can tank a lot of damage. Nimbo is uh, very iffy. There's no temple nearby, so yeah. we need to be fully healed before before the big battle. I should have a. Um, eh. I think we got lucky and got out of there alive. I mean, uh, that would be so dangerous trying to like backstab that um, hedge knight. I didn't expect him to to like, smash us like that. You got some not. As nearly good Nimbo brother, and they have five percent chance to hit. They have a lot of defense or something. I want to show all here. Oh no, cactus needs to run.
Yeah, with all the injuries, we are having a hard time killing these brigands. It's, that was such a, a hard fight. So dangerous. Exactly, 3 star in melee defense is gonna be a lot. So, he's not gonna going to hit anything, right? I would say, um, because I have so little faith in Nimble, and he, he, is, he is a farmhand, he, I'm gonna make him a matter first guy. Even with all the HP, you can make a high HP battle for you and, and it's completely fine. It's the tank. I just want him to like be able to like, like this. He's he sat here and tank a lot of hit from like uh, th those three guy here. I'm happy with Lanchi. He's doing his work very well. Uh, also, oh yeah, tank with spear, tank with spear. That's another thing that I, 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 I think I want to see. With this, um, the thing is, uh, yeah, he can hold a lot of enemy of with the spear wall. <laughs> with plus twenty five percent chance. 20% 20, 20 chance to hit from the spear and the spear wall <clears throat> well <clears throat> first of all um the spear is isn't there to deal damage it's just there to like use spear wall right <clears throat> but um he has really low melee defense if you um pick maybe three rows on melee defense then he will be able to use spear work quite effectively. <coughs> so, uh, nimble guy, and with a lot of fatigue because it's nimble, you get a lot of extra fatigue. So you can use spear wall in instead of shield wall. Oh boy, this fight was so hard because we got like those injuries. <clears throat> 